Welcome to the Cleese McFarland channel, guys. Today, we're gonna be dynoing this dirty V. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Cleese McFarland YouTube channel. Dino day! <laughs> Caught you off guard, didn't I? Yeah, you did. What day is it, Cooper? Time to tune the V. It's time to tune the V, boys. Just got back from Pearl Fab. Yeah, he just got his exhaust all welded up, sealed up. She's ready to roll. We got Jeremy in town. Let's see if I can scare him. Dino day! Oh my god, it rolled open. <laughs> Guys, Jeremy's back in town. As you can see, he's hard at work. What are you, on the forums? Or let's make this weird. Okay, as you can see, <laughs> he's back in action. Hot on the tunes. Look at his fingers. They're looking faster and more agile than ever before. Oh, got some dirt under there. A little bit of dirt. They're looking a little clean. But today, he's got his work cut out for him because he's got a tune, the old CTS-V. And how are you feeling about that? <laughs> I'm ready to make even power. I, that's music to my ears. Even Liam just called it a piece of junk. Cooper? Wow. Are you ready? Your son just called my car a piece of junk. All right. You're really hot. And gross. Right. <laughs> Go away. Right. He's back. <laughs> Go away. We miss you so much. It gets so boring around here. We get so you. sad without you. No puppy. He's either. finally back. He's back, boys. All right. Let's put this thing on the dyno. Okay, oh. Sorry, I'm trying to get up. Uh, how about those over the shoulder boulder holder yeah. moves? <laughs> over the shoulder boulder holder. <laughs> Over the shoulder boulder holder. I'm gonna try not to break it while I pull in the shop. Be very gentle. All right, you're good. Look yeah, it looks it looks fantastic. All right, straighten it out a little bit. All right. more let's freaking go i'm so pumped this is the first time the v1's ever been on this dyno you're right it's about to make some power my car hasn't been on this dyno yet hell yeah let's do it put on the parking brake yeah guys cooper today for the first time is gonna make some real power yeah i'm Hey, for sure. listen, there is going to be freedom pouring out of this thing. I, I hope that's all that pours all out. The, yeah, and I hope that's the only thing that pours out, too. I can tell you right now, it's going to be a freedom-filled, fantastic day. Before we get started, power estimates. Cletus, I'm saying, well, Leroy made, 70, Leroy made 705 on E90. So we're tuning this on 93 first, and I'm guessing 684 horsepower. Wow, that much on 93? Yes, I'm feeling it. I'm thinking like 650. 650? Yeah, 675. Ah, we'll see, we'll see. We gotta get Jeremy's take. Yeah. Also, I'd like to make 707. 707, oh, like a Hellcat? Yeah. Right at 707. 707. So the goal today, boys? 707. Yep. Better 707. Can you see? Yeah. All right, you're doing great. All right, you're good. I know, Cooper. She's so dirty. She's a dirty girl. It's all right, dirty girls make power. Yeah. I've seen it firsthand. I mean, I wouldn't touch this V. <laughs> this is one dirty V, folks. Did you find this on the, the, the dumpsters of Tampa? Welcome to the Cleese McFarland channel, guys. Today, we're gonna be dynoing this dirty V. Now, it may just look like your average dirty V, but this one's gonna make some power. We need to get your power estimation on uh, 93. Take a quick gander. Bald Eagle Cam, LSA. 620? Whoa. 93. Damn, I went 680. I was feeling optimistic. 93? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I, went I just feel like there's a lot of freedom in the air today. I know it's super hot and humid, <laughs> but. Humidity. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so on the 85 then? Sure, we'll, yeah, we'll get to like 670. I think. 670. Yeah. Turn the air on. We need all the power we can get up there. Now you did it. That fuel system. Let's go, boys. Let's see what our fuel pressure is looking like. Oh, right at about 50 psi. Okay. How do you feel about 50 psi fuel pressure? That'll be fine. That'll do. 
I want to see a wide open throttle pull on this exact tune just to see if it was good or not. The other HP oh, tuners wire. It should be rich. It should be yeah, rich. it should be rich because we've been ripping it. <laughs> been ripping it on this tune, so yeah. hopefully she's good. <laughs> oh, baby! Come on, B! It's still got the guy before us, all his dyno numbers on here. 600, it's a red one guys, 612 horsepower, 555 torque, first pull. Hell awesome. yeah, dude. That's yeah. I've been driving it at pretty much. Dude, look at how rich it was. The line is actually off the graph. Jeremy put a super rich street bass tune in it just so we could go play around with it. And uh, he made it really safe, so it's super rich, but it's good to know that we weren't in like a risky zone and we've been yeah. beating on it. Okay, all right, so this is just Cooper's first pull right here. Damn, dude, so 612. Look at that torque line. I'm so proud of the V, yeah, the torque is like all of it just holds. Yeah. I'm so proud of the V. What'd you think of that? Not bad. You see how rich it was? Yeah. That was a good bass tune. Yeah, Appreciate no, you keeping her safe for us. Rich. Lord knows you guys would have blown it up already. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we totally would have. It's, oh, great. Yeah, it's a great thing you made it that rich for us. That is awesome though. Dude, everything worked. Oh yeah. That's, that's like it, the most amazing good. part is everything came together on that first pull, so. It's not often you see a full pull. I know, I know. I couldn't believe you stayed in it. I was like, wow, it's actually making a full pull. First pull. It was so rich, I was just like, what? So first pull went really good, guys. On to the second, third, fourth, probably mini to come. Then we gotta do E85, so. Oh man, I like where this is started though. Yeah, this is definitely a solid. I like where this is started. Are you ready for pull number two? I am. We're gonna lean her out a little bit. See what okay. she does. Okay. I didn't have my template right, so I'll try and be able to tell you how much boost she's making. Ah, that would be good to know. What do you think, like? We have more than enough fuel system. 10 sure. pounds? That's what we were going for, is we wanted to overkill the fuel system. So if he wants to go up. When I took it for a ride, when I put the base tune in there, I'm pretty sure it made 10 pounds. Pretty 10 pounds, sure. okay. So also, classic Florida, it's about to be hurricaning outside. They predicted monsoons. Yeah, oh my gosh, man. So, that's definitely good. It's gonna drop the air temps so we can make some power later. Oh, it's raining. I think my windows are down. Are they really? Oh, my Lanta. Oh, yep, his windows are open. Get out there, boys. They're probably in it. Get out there, Cooper. Are they in your beard? No, they weren't in there. They're not in Jeremy's beard either. Dude, we literally have a hurricane on our hands. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, bro. I hope we don't lose power. It's ripping. All right. See what you got. No, it'll be all right. Look how much nicer the fuel is getting just off of one hit. So 625 horsepower on that one. Picked up about 20 in the torque range. Damn, I mean the whole tire dyno graph looks better. Are you just doing fuel right now or are you? Just doing fuel right now. And then we'll do spark next. Yeah, I had a pretty good base. Very yeah, similar said to what it was. Pretty close already. Yeah, what it should be with uh, this amount of boost. What? Yeah, there's literally water dripping on the belt. <laughs> it still made 10.2 pounds of boost. Oh, 
nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so Jeremy's gonna make a couple more pulls here, but he has to make some adjustments, so stand by. Fairly certain it already made it past your guest mark. Now, Jeremy, this is a live feed, so don't spontaneously take your clothes off like you normally do. Oh, uh, but they, 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 some power. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, so while the live feed watches, we're going for poll number three on the dyno. We've had pretty solid gains so far, but remember this is only on 93, so pretty soon Jeremy will be maxed out for what the car can do with this fuel. And then we'll probably add ethanol, but the problem is we don't know if we have the ethanol sensor working correctly yet. We gotta get that figured out before we can add any ethanol. Otherwise, we just have to stick with the, uh, the gasoline numbers for today. Any major changes or just fuel still? Uh, just fuel added at like a half degree of timing up top, we'll see. Oh, I like your style. Okay, so the rain did slow down too, which is good. So we can open the door back up. We literally, we literally got an inch of standing water over here when it was pouring earlier. She sounds good, she sounds amped up. Here we go, pole number three. Please don't blow up on the live feed. <laughs> Come on, big girl. Make some power. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, my gosh. I'm about to win this. Oh, my bat. gosh, you guys. Look at that. Look at that red so here. So 600. All right, so 645 horsepower, 582 foot pounds of torque. Damn. What do you think of that? Pretty good. I mean, I only added a half degree of timing after like 5600. There was a little lull in the power, oh. about 5200 right there. Yeah. And it, I kind of felt like it was trailing a little bit, and it would probably like a little bit more. Um, you spent like a half a, half a degree of timing. Like half. Yeah. I'm trying to wow. just flatten out that torque curve. Because again, it was trailing off a little bit at 52. Oh yeah, I see I that. No, here we go. What are you revving it to? Uh, that one I revved it a bit higher. That was like 6,600 there. Not bad, not bad. But, uh, the biggest gains are right there at about you know 5,200 on out. Yeah. You know, so no, it's like it's sizably yeah. higher. What he's talking about here is the pickup he got up on the top end with just a little bit of timing. You know, it's just Jeremy and his timing hands. Can you show us the move? I only like to bring it out every once in a while, though. Come on, man. Please. Please. Everybody wants to see it. Please. It's, it's in the That's wrist. It. It's just like a little, little sprinkle. Oh, just oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, guys. So first three pulls are going really well. So just a couple more adjustments in fuel and timing. And I think we'll be pretty much set for the gasoline tune. Then we got to work on this ethanol sensor deal. Hopefully we can get that working. Add some E98 to this bad girl and see what she'll make. What we're gonna do is do one last pull on gasoline, make sure this tune is on point. Then when we're off of good old Jeremy's time here, we're gonna fix it, figure it out, make sure it works, then come back on the dyno and tune it with ethanol and then really make some power. But let's finish this thing off. We'll see what uh, the V can make. All right, all right. Did you, did you just say give her hell? Yeah. I like your style, Cooper. Cooper's getting amped up. Last pull, make sure you floor it. Make sure you floor it. This is 93 only. But we're gonna make some power regardless. Pump gas and see what this bad girl will make. It's condensate. What? This is condensate. Oh baby. Alright brother, give her hell. Don't worry guys, that's just condensate back there. Come on, last pull tonight. Oh wait, wait, wait. Alright, you're good, she's on. Let her eat. Come on, V, baby. Woo! Yeah, buddy. That sounded good. Oh, uh, she's a hair down. Yeah. She's a hair down. It's a little bit smoother, but a little bit down in power. Actually, the uh, air temp on that was not that good. Air temp was bad. 
Well, I turned the fan on after you sat there and ran for a minute. Well, dude, I will freaking take that. No, that's, that's I will, great power. I will take that. I was hoping for that 650 mark, but it's kind of gotten a lot hotter since the rain went away. But uh, man, it's a freaking V, killing it. Air temps just getting a little bit warmer, so it did drop in power. 630 horsepower, 576 torque on that last pull. But damn, dude, 645 earlier. And you can tell that the torque is just ridiculous because it goes immediately to 550. I mean, this is just after 3,000 RPM. It's immediately at 550 torque. And then it just carries, and then the power picks it up. So nasty, man. That's what that LSA it's gonna be a fun car is all about. That I know. A little bummed we didn't get to do that at all. We gotta get that fixed like soon and go back. So when we cut the hood, she's pretty much done and fixed the ethanol sensor. Yeah, and well, also the blower's on ported, and yeah. the snout, and the throttle body. And you I, want know, a porter? I know a guy. I know a guy that <laughs> loves to port things. Yeah, hell yeah, you definitely need to yeah. do that down the line. Like so. what kind of power do you think even just like one of your most aggressive ports would pick up? Most of the time we just, I mean, it's just a normal port anyway, but I, mean, I would say on average 35. Ooh! Yeah, that's pretty good. Do you think on ethanol it could make 700? Yeah. And then with a port blower. It could happen. It should definitely. All right, so we're gonna get this thing fixed. We're gonna come back with ethanol. We're shooting for 700 horsepower. Oh, yeah, well, what kind of PSI were you seeing? Boost. 10 pounds. Yeah. We're shooting for 707. 707 horsepower. We're going to make it happen. The V did run insanely good today, though. I will say I'm so proud of her. To yeah. come out here, really no issues besides the ethanol sensor. Everything mechanically worked perfect. So I really drove it two hours, too, before I got here. Yeah, he drove it to Profab and back today. She's really coming along. She's almost done. So, all right, guys, we will end it off there. Hopefully, be back soon on the dyno with the V, making some power with ethanol. We'll get that Ignite E90 put in there, but we got to get that sensor working first. But we'll leave you off there. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We will see you later.